guys, so I'm back with another chinchilla update today. Marks their three weeks. So you will see this video on Saturdays. I don't know if you guys have known, but I'm doing vlogs as well as the chinchilla weekly updates until they are 12 weeks old. I'll do a quick recap. If you guys have not seen um, the first two videos, the link for the playlist will be down below. But basically, if you've never seen these videos before, I just am updating you on the chinchillas sizes, um, how big they are, their personalities, and things like that, and if anything new has changed with them. So, so let's do a quick recap. The first time I weighed them was the day after they were born. The day after they were born, um, Tails weighed 1.6 ounces. Shadow weighed 1.6 ounces and Sparkles weighed 1.6 ounces. So they all weighed the same amount. And then I weighed them a week later when they were a week old. So Tails was 2.2 pounds, 2.2 ounces. Shadow was 2.1 and Sparkles was 1.8 ounces. So then the following week was April 1st, and that was their um, second week, so that video is up and ready to go. So Tails weighed 2.8 ounces, Shadow weighed 2.9 ounces, and Sparkle weighed 2.3 ounces. And at that time, I also weighed Karma, and she weighed 21.1 ounces. So then today, which is April 8th, I went ahead and weighed everybody. I even weighed Kuali, um, even though his weight has changed a little bit. Um, I don't know exactly, but from memory I can tell that it has changed, um, like looking at the numbers now and things like that. So today Tails weighed 3.5 ounces, so his shadow now weighs 3.6 ounces. And last week weighed that 2.3, and this week she weighs 2.9. So um, Sparkles has gained about 6.6 ounces, which is great. So I went, away, went ahead and weighed Karma today, and from last week, Karma weighs 20 ounces this week, and last week she weighed 21.1 ounces, so she did lose 1.1 ounces. And then this week I weighed Koali, and Koali weighs 15.9 ounces, and I noticed Koali was at the... Um, the 16 to 18 range when when I last weighed him so I'm thinking he um, lost some weight a little bit of weight um, that's just what is looking like he's at 15.9 and it did fluctuate with 15.8 and 15.9 but I took 15.9 because it stayed there longer but that's their weights for today I don't know if you will be able to see and I don't remember if I mentioned this in my last video and I was wanting to mention it and I don't think I ever got around to mentioning it. And um, basically it's just how I weigh them. I don't know if I did this um, in the second update. I'm sorry if I did. If not, I know that I filmed talking about it at least once and the video never went up I'm pretty sure is what happened. So this is how I weigh them. This is just a... Um, kitchen scale, like a diet kitchen scale. I don't have the brands on this one, however, but it just says it's a digital diet kitchen scale, and you definitely are going to want a kitchen, a digital kitchen scale, because um, they will, it'll be able to weigh anything, like a feather. You can literally put a piece of feather on, a piece of feather, a feather on here, and it will weigh it and tell you that you know, you can literally just put this here and it will tell you how much it weighs. Even though you are thinking this weighs nothing, which it probably will have nothing on there. But you know what I'm saying, just something that's very light, that's like this weighs not even a pound and you'll put it on there and it will get the smallest measurements possible. Today I did bring them in and in not every video you're going to see them. If anything, I will try and incorporate pictures, but that's also kind of hard as well. But I will... Um, try and do something. So, I have them here. I decided I would put them in this ball to carry them in so that they did have some breathing and they could see out, kind of, even though this one needs washed. I can see you in there. And I was setting it, I had it on the floor and they all moved this all at once. And they know if the weight starts tilting that they'll all move over there, so it's really weird. But anyways, I just put them in this. This is the ball that Karma runs around in. Balls are very controversial, I know. 
do what you want. If you think that your chills will be safe in here, put them in here. If you don't, don't. Don't tell me what you think because we can make our own decisions and we don't really need to be influenced by, influenced by everybody about like if our decision is right or wrong. So who's going first? Who wants to go first? Shadow, do you want to go first today? You guys are so cute. I love you. Okay. So Little Miss Sparkles is going to go first today. Just sit here on my hand. So here is Miss Sparkles. She's just backing up all over the place. Be careful, sweetie. I have you very high on my hand. Okay. Do you see that mirror? Okay, look. You're okay now. Okay, so here is Sparkles. As you can see, she still fits in the palm of my hand, um, but she's a little bit bigger now. Hey, their ears are starting to... Hey, we're trying to do video. Do you see this? We're trying to do a video. Okay, so her ears are starting to stick out more. They're not quite like this yet, but oh my god, you're so cute. You are cute now, but they're starting to stick out more and be a lot more prominent, if you guys can see that. And here she is. She wants to show you a long shot. Hey, little girl. Hi, little girl. So here she is, just in her own little naturistic life just chilling. She does have red eyes. Again, I don't think you'll be able to see. Guys, she is mad. She's going to be the death of me. Can I see? Yeah, you do, huh? So here is Sparkles. This is what she looks like. She's being very good today. Here's her little tail, too. Okay, go back to your sisters. No, we're going to do shadow. So here is Shadow. Oh my god. So here is Shadow, and she's gotten so big, you guys. I mean, you're not really sitting in the bottom of my hand. Here, sit in the palm, right where mommy put you. Right here. So here she is. I mean, she's pretty big. She's oh, so fluffy, beautiful ears. Hey, stick your ears out for me. Oh, and her tail. Are you trying to do a profile you don't want to show today? Look at them. Um, she's starting to get a lot more calm. She's not as wild. She's not wanting to run around as often. She's just like a little more chill. Sparkles is now like getting out of her comfort zone and yelling a lot, yelling, squeaking a lot, and just trying to jump and escape, like, <sighs> and then here's Shadow, she just chills, but go, are you going to chill, no, you're not doing a swell job of chilling, but yeah, she normally would just sit there and chill, like a good little girl, yes, give me a kiss, thank you, no kisses, And the firstborn is Tails. So we've got her and oh my god, it's so beautiful. So they haven't gotten a fully a dust bath yet, is what I meant to say. Um I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look up, so I just haven't given them one yet. I know that they are supposed to wait, but I'm not sure how long they were supposed to wait before they got a bath because it will irritate their eyes and stuff. But here is little Miss Tails. Your foot is stuck, sweetie. Look how big she is. Oh my god. Guys, I just remember when they were wee babies and I put tails in my hand like this. I had to use both hands because I was so afraid. She fit so perfectly in the middle and now she takes up my whole hand. No, don't try and do that. Don't try and scare them. Okay, do it. Get close to them. Okay. Oh gosh, this is such a chill cam. Who is that? Give him kisses. Give him kisses. Good job. Okay, give me kisses. No kisses. No kisses. It didn't work. But Tails is still very active and very outgoing. She has not chilled out yet. 
Shadows is very Shadow is very chilled and she's pretty much taken over Shadow's job, aren't you? Yes, you are. Look at the camera. Don't you dare. <laughs> so she has a cute little belly and your little ears too. Your sisters are crying. No crying. But that's basically it for the Chinchilla Week 3 update for you guys. Not, I mean, personality-wise, things have changed. Their weight has changed a lot. Um, I do want to mention that I did transfer them to a new cage. They were moved into their original cage that we bought them for Christmas. Um, because we did store them, keep them. We did have them um, living in the old cage that we had gotten when we got Kuali and then I decided we're going to upgrade for $150 to a really nice one um, which was well worth the money and where are you guys? come on you guys are so cute hey okay.